Hello and welcome to our new tutorial about curtain walls. Now you're going to see how you will be able to create these uh, nice interior shelves uh, using a curtain wall function in Revit. So let's start. Uh, let's go to file, then click to new and pick a family. And under the family, I will go in a metric one and we'll pick uh, metric curtain wall panel. So it's opened and now while we are in a plan view, I will create a reference plane. So RP is a command for that, for a shortcut. And we'll name it as 01. Uh, we'll put the distance of 600 millimeters and that would be our depth of, uh, of the shelves. And now we'll go to exterior plan and we'll create a blend. For the first one, the set will be center front back and we'll take a circle and we'll create one with a radius of 500 millimeters. We'll put it down here on zero. Then we'll click edit top. We'll go to set. So we have to set other working plan right now. So we'll place now a uh, reference play 01 we created recently. And we'll make this one of 400. Uh, I will now just go and move it down. And we'll go to 3D, we'll click OK. So you see how our form looks, looks like right now. We'll again go to exterior and now we'll create a void form. It will be a void blend. Uh, we'll set for the base, we'll set uh, center front back. We'll take a circle again, SC snap to center and then make a radius of 460. So let's give some thickness. Edit top and again set other reference plane. SC snap to center and 360 let's go to 3d and this is how our form looks like right now we'll go to left and would like to make some kind of slope over there so for that i will take a void form we'll make a void extrusion and we'll make it with a slope of let's say 10 degrees here let's trim this and make and and start 600 and minus 600 so you see what it is going to do so it looks like this right now again i'm going to left and would like to create some extrusions we'll pick circle and we'll make this as i don't know let's say 12.5 millimeters so 25 millimeters thickness move it for 150 and move it up for the same number and then just copy it for let's say 100 and 100 let's go to 3d and let's see how it looks like so yeah basically that's it that would be our curtain panel now i will just load this into the project and we'll just go to 3d so we see in 3d what we are doing I will go to wall, wall architectural, and we'll pick a curtain wall here. We'll go to duplicate and we'll name this as a circles. For the curtain panel, we'll place the one we created recently. So it's family tree because it didn't save it and name it. And here for vertical and uh, horizontal grid, we'll take a fixed distance. And let's play it like 1.5 meters. And we'll just create our wall. So you see how it looks like. We can also control the height. I can make one meter of height. So we have just one row then. So yeah, that was it. Thanks a lot for watching and I really hope you liked it. If you find this tutorial useful, please uh, like, subscribe and write the comments if you have any questions. Thanks a lot.